I've been doing some road trips recently and decided to try Apple Maps for long distance EV routing that automatically calculates charging stops for your EV. In the Ford Mach-E, F-150 Lightning, and Porsche Taycan, you can use Apple Maps for EV routing. So here's a how-to video and review. At the time I'm making this video, no other EV automakers are supporting this capability. Some battery EV automakers have decided not to support Apple CarPlay at all. Tesla, Rivian, newer EVs from GM have all decided for their customers that they want to provide the routing using the onboard navigation, not your phone. But even for automakers that do support Apple CarPlay, to make Apple Maps for EV routing, the EV needs to share its battery state of charge with Apple. This is not technically difficult, but it does change the relationship between the automaker and Apple. Ford offers their own navigation that does EV routing. In my vehicle, it's their connected navigation, which after a trial period costs $80 per year. However, that may sound steep, but there is one really cool or warm feature that Ford Connected Navigation offers that makes it worth that subscription price. I'll tell you what that is later. Now let's get into the how-to pros and cons versus other apps or the built-in navigation. Everything I'm showing is for the Ford EVs. If you own a Taycan, good for you. The setup will be different for that vehicle, but the overall experience should be largely the same. First, you need to connect your iPhone to the Sync 4A system to use Apple CarPlay. I'll put a link to those instructions in the notes. Even though the system offers wireless Apple CarPlay projection, personally, I still keep a USB cable on the car. I physically plug in on longer drives. I find it charges a little better than the wireless charging. Once connected, launch Apple Maps. You may get this pop-up reminder on the display in your Ford. I'm gonna show you the steps on your iPhone. It probably won't let you do it while driving. Please don't try it. In the lower right corner of Apple Maps, select your account icon. Select Vehicles, connect to your Ford vehicle, connect, then decide if you wanna share data with Apple to make EV routing better. Personally, I recommend it because I'll show you later, it's starting to get smarter as you use it more. And the last step, preferred networks. I'll come back to this later. If you don't see this, make sure you're connected to Apple CarPlay while in the vehicle, then contact Ford customer support. Now we're ready to try this out. Where do you want to go? Chicago, Illinois. Getting directions to Chicago. Knowing the current battery state of charge and the type of vehicle that I have, it calculates the route, including traffic and two charging stops along the way. At each stop, it calculates the amount of time I'm probably gonna spend there charging. And so all of that gets factored into the estimated time of arrival at my destination. It also indicates the estimated battery state of charge that I should arrive at my destination. So it gives you some idea of what to expect. So for the average user, this is good. Now, some people prefer to calculate in their head and use apps like PlugShare, which is a fantastic app, and decide where they want to stop to charge and calculate how far the distance is to their next preferred charging stop. But all this requires a lot of work. Another option would be a better route planner, ABRP, which requires a subscription to be able to project it onto the display in your vehicle. That does calculate the stops automatically, but you do need to select the vehicle that you have, so manually typing that in, and then also providing it with the battery state of charge. There's another way to do that, but you know this gets very technical. So Apple Maps is very easy to use in this respect in that it's just gonna pull the data from the vehicle and calculate the stops for you. And that's the best reason to use EV routing in Apple Maps. It figures out the stops for you. It's easy. From my experience, the calculated percent charge on arrival was pretty accurate. I was impressed even in the winter with degraded range and using the heat in my vehicle. When you stop at the recommended charging location, it will tell you what percent to charge to and an estimate for how long that's gonna take you. And that also was pretty accurate. 
Apple traffic data is pretty darn good. I know everyone has an opinion on this, but I've seen benchmark data and it really stacks up well. And subjectively, I love the looks of Apple Maps. It looks great. Now for some things they need to work on. Not an EV thing, but points of interest, businesses and stuff, they're much better from Google. When you're out of your EV, you need to remember to change your vehicle so that it doesn't calculate charging stops if you're driving a different vehicle. My first real gripe with EV routing is its judgment on where to stop for charging. For example, on a recent trip I took, it took me way off the highway between Toledo and Fort Wayne and had me stop at car dealerships. Each one had just one charger. They are sourcing data from PlugShare, which is great. I think they need to use this data to make better recommendations on where to stop. I think this will improve over time. You saw earlier that you can choose your preferred network. Here's how you can change that. In Apple Maps, go to your phone, to your account, vehicles, select your EV, and then add a preferred network from the list. You can go back later and edit to remove that network. Playing around with this, I find that when you search for EV charging near you, it definitely will give preference to your preferred networks over everything else. But planning long distance routes, I did not notice that it directs you to those locations. I hope this too will improve over time. If you want to modify the recommended stops and choose your own, it's pretty much impossible to do from the Ford display. The only way I was able to do this was to plan your route from your phone before getting into your EV. You can see here that I'm planning a trip to Chicago on my phone, not in the EV. I know there's an Electrify America location along that route. So you can see how difficult it is to add an alternative stop. It searches at my destination, not along the way. Once I find the location, it goes at the end of the list, doubling the calculated route. Oops. You then press and hold the hamburger icon and drag it to reorder the stops. And only then does it change your recommended stops to include that location and figure it out. So it does do what you want it to do, but only after some arm twisting. I've noticed some changes with this behavior too, so I think this will get better. Ford just announced that Apple Maps will now also recommend Tesla superchargers. To do so, select Tesla as your preferred network, and they claim that you can get results that look like this. However, in my experiments thus far, I think more work needs to be done. Tesla locations will show up in your search when you're searching locally, but on longer routes, you get a mixture of recommended stops, not like the picture they show. Also, keep in mind, older Tesla superchargers do not work with the CCS adapter, and from my testing, it did not warn me of that. This location, for example, is not compatible, but it does not give me any warning about that, nor do I see it differentiate between locations that only have the NAX connector versus those that have the magic dock. I need to play around with this new enhancement some more, but I'll say it again, I think this will get better. Coming back from a trip, I wanted to stop at a new GM Energy charging site. It wasn't recommended for the stops that I had to take, so I had to search for that particular location. Now, after doing that once, when I travel back through that same area, Apple Maps is recommending that charger, so it's trying to learn and get better, maybe because I allowed it to collect that data and try to improve the experience. Other things, they need to allow you to filter EV charging between AC, DC fast, DC really fast. They tell you what plugs are at each location, but you have to look really carefully. They should also give live availability of chargers like other apps do. All of these things hopefully will get better. Apple certainly has the resources and money to do that. Now for one thing that they can't do on their own, battery preconditioning. Ford's connected navigation will start to precondition the battery when navigating to a charger, so it's at a good temperature when you arrive. Apple Maps does not do this, and that alone, if you do a lot of driving, makes it worth the price. Or if you have an Android phone using Google Maps, Ford says that it will battery precondition. Why not Apple Maps on CarPlay? 
I honestly don't know. Maybe it's technical, they can't, or maybe they're working on it. But for now, that's my overview of Apple Maps with EV routing. If you have an experience with it, let us know what you think, and thanks for watching.